So on that, I now want to go to Twitter and I want to listen to notifications. I want to listen to Asmin Gold's reaction. Oh, brilliant. Duh. How do I, can I get it in like its own tab so that I can make it full screen? That way it's running down here in the corner. Duh. Okay. All right, let's look at this. Here we go. So I want to talk about uh, some comments that we got on work to game uh, after we put out a video talking about if, if Asmongold should play Final Fantasy XIV. Um, work to game is a collaborative voice between Brian and I and has been so for almost five years now. We've put out several thousand posts with the vast majority of that being targeting Final Fantasy XIV. Um, we have covered, at this point, probably well over a hundred news posts for Final Fantasy XIV put out through the dev vlog, live letters, Incredible. live events, letters from Yoshi P directly. Um, That's their lead dev. A direct That's interview their lead. from him where we got to interview him one-on-one. -on -one. We have covered like our frustrations with the game. We've covered our love of the game. We've put out mm -hmm. guides. And at this point, when somebody says we don't like Final Fantasy XIV, um, this would be a really weird way of showing it. And when people say that we just got into 14 for the views like that's a long con uh and and because it doesn't give you any views like if you want to make content for final fantasy 14 uh y you're probably not ever going to hit triple digit numbers uh with like uh, viewers uh like uh, like or like a hundred thousand or more right you'll, you'll get probably 50 20 thousand but like it has a very very low ceiling any way that accuses yep. them of that is just They've got a brain the size of a of a fucking like an egg that uh, that shrank, like a, a like a bird's a bird like a small bird's egg, like one of the ones that's like this big. Like Zeppelin, happy. Egg. There's room for it's one or two like people that, that are that big. And I agree with that. Crack. So it just starts to insult what we've done with that space. Quail Brian head, yeah. and I know each other through many other games, and 14 is the one that we have the most overlap on. And so when we talk about WoW. Um, okay, here we go. I have to be respectful of the point where he's coming from. And in the work to game space, it's really good that he's there because it tempers how much I talk about WoW and it tempers how I talk about WoW to make sure that I'm accounting for that viewpoint that he represents that's probably in agreement with a majority of, of that community. And so, okay. you know, when we talk about WoW, Asmongold comes up a fair bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. The reason go. for that <laughs> is because it's the so obvious talking point. World of Warcraft is big enough that in the last five years of content creation, as my wife's gotten to know more about the video games I play than the ones she does to a point that she really didn't want to, Yeah, that she mentions it from time to time in past. She talks about me. Friends. All right. And throughout the years, she's come home and All a right. number of times. She's told me, hey, so-and-so plays World of Warcraft. Hey, so-and-so said they've been looking at getting into Warhammer. Cool. But in that time, she's never once told me of somebody that plays Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is in a new... That's because they never leave the house. And, um, anyway... <laughs> so, look, I... Look, I, I and it's, it's obviously a joke. It's obviously a joke. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, before somebody from that community gets mad about it, uh, I mean, WoW players don't leave the house either. To be fair, um, says the guy who didn't shower for thirty days. Me because I make the most WoW content, right? Like my channel gets a lot of views on YouTube, and so it makes sense that people would talk about my content. It is weird, though. It is definitely weird to be considered a talking point. Yeah. Enormous game. It is probably the second largest MMO uh, in active player numbers, well, in I think number of downloads gets per expansion, in reach, in search traffic, when you average across the last 15 years, and more and more it's knocking on the door of World of Warcraft. But that's a little like saying Chick-fil-A is a big fast food franchise. It is. It's enormous, and it gets worldwide recognition in the news, not always for something good. Um, and it's beloved by people that like it. You're gonna there use McDonald's as well. That don't like it. He's gonna use McDonald's as well. Nothing to do with chicken. Don't you fucking do and it. And <laughs> when you compare it to something like McDonald's, God damn it! It's a small fish. Um, it's worldwide recognition. The Chick Fil A logo compared to the Golden Arches is just not even in the ballpark. 
Oh shit! I see, like you knew that was like I, because I, I, like I, I know what people are gonna say <laughs> half the time before they fucking say it. It's obvious, right? So, look, is it McDonald? Are we McDonald's now? Is that it? Are we McDonald's? Yeah. World of shit. Warcraft has had such critical recognition, such chronic pervasiveness, such an yeah. ability to just spread out into the world, whether it's liked or not. Like coronavirus. That it's a lot bigger than I think 14 fans realize. And so even when they lose 30%, 40% of their player base, they still have 60 or 70% of some freakishly large number. That's true. Um, I, 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 who maybe aren't complaining people. out loud. Maybe they, you know, yeah, I'm not really happy with the game, but I play with this friend or I play with this, uh, my brother or my, my spouse and I share this game together. And that's enough for us. I don't need to care about the drama, right? I can just live my life. I don't have yeah. to be involved in politics to go it's to the casual. grocery store. And I don't have to be True. involved in the state of a game to get Don't tell people on Twitter it. that. And so I, I, there's a huge player base in, in WoW um, that's still playing the game. And for that, there's a huge content creator community. Um, when True. we don't mention Asmund Gold, we're typically oh, going to drop to the next largest in our lives, which is Bellular. But when you look at the total views of them combined across the total number of people that play World of Warcraft, um, there are probably people who have never heard of either one of them, and there are probably True. people who don't care what either one of them think. Uh, I can guarantee you that is the case. I can guarantee you that there are people that not only do not care, but actively disagree with what I say. I don't know why people do get not so want mad me to say it. One or both of them. The community is enormous, and so the reason we mention Asmongold, the reason he comes up, people assume every YouTuber mentions him because they're chasing views and he's going to react or whatever. It's not that simple. It's also just the only way that I can talk to Brian about this game that I have a huge and passionate history with. Uh -huh. This game that's been a huge part of my life. This game that I have been to the web. I don't have a problem with that, by the way. If somebody makes a good video and they want me to react to it and it's funny and my chat likes it, that's great. You suck my dick, I'll suck yours. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? The people that I know through that game, I, I fly across the country for BlizzCon to spend time with people who don't play Blizzard games that I met through Blizzard games who are yeah. in town during BlizzCon because it's an excuse for that community to get together. Exactly. Yes, a lot of people go there for the convention, but there are a Real. lot of people who go just to be around the first group. And That's very true. Uh, there, there are a lot of people like, basically BlizzCon is where you go to find out if the girl that you've been talking to for the past two years <laughs> and carrying to Gladiator is actually a girl. <laughs> I have friends and family that, that aren't as big into games anymore as their life has gotten busier with yeah. other things they've chosen to focus on, being married, having a job, having hobbies outside of gaming, whatever it is, and yet when there's news on something like Diablo or World of Warcraft, it's something that we can still share. It's a vocabulary that we have in common. It's a language That's we nice. both still speak, even if we weren't both subscribed at the time. Okay. And Let's get back to talking talk about me. When I talk to somebody who doesn't have that, it's easiest to talk in terms they can understand. It's easiest like to me. talk in the areas they have overlap. So I talk about the game in vocabulary that might come from their game. I call classes jobs. I call threat meters enmity. I, you know, I, I call these, I call these things, I could what? call a legendary a relic or an epic or an ascended piece. You know, I, 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 oh, can, oh. I can call Torghast a deep dungeon. And those are mostly 14 terms, but I can yeah. now, I'm starting to get to where I can do that in Guild Wars 2. And I can talk about systems to my friends that play Minecraft. For a second, I thought he was talking about it in terms of WoW. I, or sorry, in terms of real life. Like, you call a class a job. Like, no, I feel like, yeah, my job is being a warrior. Yeah, well, I'm a barista at Starbucks. <laughs> I, I, I do, like, little, uh, I, I put he a tree. He doesn't know 14 terms. At the top of their frappuccinos. He doesn't know, you know 14 terms. Ted loves the tree. He comes in every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? Yeah, we'll skip ahead. Hopefully he gets back to talking about me. Or my friends that play. And we can talk in that term so that we can 
have a conversation about gaming, <laughs> which we both care about, even though we're coming from different places. Yeah, yeah. Asmongold is that okay. big of a name. It's like Google, where it gets to That's the point true. where when you want to talk about content creators or Twitch creators in the MMO space, it's kind of like not knowing Fortnite and knowing Ninja. That's true. Yeah. Asmongold is that big. Yeah. And it doesn't I'm really glad we picked to watch this video. matter anymore. Yeah, I'm glad we watched whether this Whether or not he wants to be that big, because much like WoW, he once was and now will be until people who know him stop have moved watching. on. And yep. no telling how long that could be. He's still actively growing Tomorrow. that base. And so it's not so much about should Asmongold play Final Fantasy XIV. Here we go. We talk about that in the video. Here we it's go. It's not so much about is Asmongold a summary of the World of Warcraft community any more than all 14 fans are summarized by Zeppla or Spofi or Happy or Larry or Ethis or and then the list goes on and on. I don't know. I feel like the Zeppel girl is a really good one. It's a girl. She photoshopped bunny ears onto her head in her Twitter profile. I feel like that's a perfect representation of Final Fantasy players. Like that's actually perfect. Like and, and then you have no, you, you then, then you have WoW, right? And you have, okay, here's this dude that wears the same clothes every day, lives with his fucking mom, and gets pissed off all the time. It's like, and he's balding. I, I feel like, I feel like that just about does it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that just about fucking does it. Oh, he's really chill. Brilliant, wonderful creators. I'm about to sit down and film interviews mm -hmm. with Yoshida by Frosty and, and Haps, and they're... I can't They're see his chat. Interviews by people who are astoundingly important members of this community from a content creation standpoint, and yet they represent a very small portion of this community as a whole. You can't sum up all 14 players as savage raiders or as RPers or as savage is like mythic difficulty or, or something. As cat girls or actually, there is no one thing that summarizes them. And Asmongold doesn't heroic. summarize all of WoW. I don't think he aims to. No. Um, no, I, I don't. I don't even think he sums up all of his own community. That's true. That that's very true. Uh, yeah. There's people like I I I'm always at odds with the viewers sometimes. You know, like, yeah, people get pissed off about shit I say all the time. Like I will say something and I will uh, people will get mad constantly. I expect him to make fun of me more. Because he's a one-man creator, but behind him, yeah. there are editors and, and, like, OTK is a massive enterprise. And, you know, in, in what the amount of knowledge base he's is talking there about outside Cat Danny. of just And his community represents a huge number of people well outside of any life experience he could ever have. Um, because he's just one person. I'm just so when a, we reference him, it's guy. not so much about... Can I add Asmongold? Sure, within the algorithm, that's that's going to have a chance at doing more than referencing someone else. It's that yeah. on stream the other day, in order to try to diversify the conversation, I mentioned Bellular. I mentioned Signs of Kalani. I I mentioned Preach. Um, these are wow people. I, I mentioned these other people. We know them. And I just start down the list, and I immediately see people going, I don't know who that is. Yeah. This is why we mention Asmongold. It's the because highest likelihood that you know who it is. It's the highest likelihood that, you that you'll get mad whenever you hear his name. Like there was literally somebody that there was literally somebody who was, uh, they, they, oh. they tweeted at me and they said that watching my stream increased their blood pressure <laughs> because they were so angry <laughs> at the words that I was, that I was doing. I wonder how many people they rage were so watch people. mad. The fact that I said that word in that way, and then the word after that, it just drove them crazy. And it's like, isn't that basically self-harm at that point? Oh, what are you doing? I know where I'm <laughs> coming from. He, yeah, he's doing those it's words again. It's not an accurate representation of everybody that plays WoW. That's true. Hazel is drastically different than WoW. Yes. Than, than Asmongold. When you, yes. when you look at people like want to buy gold and Arleus and um, Persephone and uh, Ellie Lake and the, these these creators who have been larger parts of what I consume the vast majority of the Asmongold community probably hasn't heard of them. Well, we have. We've watched okay. all of their videos. 
<laughs> Mountain Dew said that Asmongold spends 30% of his life reacting to himself. To convert me? Am, I, am I being converted says right now? That Mione is like Bellular. Actually, Mione is like signs of Kalani. Am I no being converted? Cam, talking about the news, showing off cosmetic B-roll, nice accent. Regularly posting, incredibly mm -hmm. polite. What's uh, the point? That's a closer parallel to the content that comes out. What's and yet, point? I don't know Kalani, and I do know Mioni, and I can say that's not a summary of Mioni. That's just comparing the What's content. What's the point? I might, I might skip ahead to the content of Kalani's ahead. name. Skip I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm likely not. I'm about to skip fair ahead. to compare both of them in their entirety. So, I, I just he doesn't need to be converted. I cover Asmongold because it's simple. What? When I talk about WoW, it's I'm easy simple. to say Mythic Plus. It's easy to say Torghast. I'm because simple. When I start talking about deeper things. What the hell? When <laughs> one of the things I like about Mythic Plus is that it captures difficulty of dungeons, but that that was also, from my perspective, captured by the playtime required to be attuned to old dungeons and the attunement system is long gone if I didn't already lose people when I talk in the 14 community about Mythic Plus I'm definitely going to lose them when I talk about attunement which hasn't been a and you're not going to whenever you talk about Asmongold they hate me I think he underestimates how many I'm people in the 14 Jack, community aren't simple Zach super big on work to game come on get, get it right for like 10 years when I talk about challenge mode which skip a ahead of, of it an objective fact he has he has playtime logged into wow and time that he has paid for being subscribed to wow when i try to start talking about content beyond the surface it is simpler to say brian has never played wow it is simpler okay let's go last two minutes here we go duty and that's their primary game wow and 14 might as well be the same thing and I know to people in those communities that's this insulting uh -oh. way to look past uh -oh. that difference. Uh oh. But for all the things these communities do have different, that outsider does does realize all this stuff's the same. It's the same feature list. That, that's true. It's the same rough content schedule plan. Yeah, like WoW and Final Fantasy have more in common than uh, than different. That's definitely true. It's the same intentions by the developers to make a game that's fun. It's the same relatively payment model and hardware requirements mm -hmm. and play style. But this last little bit makes a huge difference to those of us that, that play those games. Well, yeah. I mean, don't we share like over 90% of our DNA with a dolphin? <laughs> a dolphin? But who, dolphin. Who, here, who here is flapping around like a dolphin? No, he's right. Um, and we need to not be insulted that somebody doesn't know this. Yeah. And they're just trying to talk about this. Um, That's true. That that is real and true. I didn't know how to say this in a comment section nicely over there because I came across as a jerk every time I wrote it, and so I just wanted to say it here. It's not really a conversation I can have with Brian in the room, so it can't be a collab. Because it's something I feel about WoW that he probably feels about games like Eleven that I never played. I gotta scroll down. I gotta read the comments because, like, we pretty much uh, we pretty much talked so much that nothing. The whole video was the point. It's hard to talk like that extemporaneously. Uh, it could be better, but like, it is what it is. So let's read a few of these comments here. And as I said, I am going to, uh, I am going to, there's another video I could watch. There's, uh, this is a Belgian video and it's literally titled, uh, it's titled, why is everyone putting up with Blizzard? 